So here we are getting ready to do our demo for Modernist Cuisine. This monster five volume set, uh, plus the workbook, I can't forget that, um, to showcase what's, how to use the book. Now when we first planned this a few months ago, we thought, you know, I, I took a gamble and ordered uh, quite a few of these books and thought, oh my gosh, we better do something to get people to buy the book, otherwise I'm basically screwed. So I'm left with a $600 book and I don't know what to do with it. So, um, so we thought, okay, we'll, we'll do this. So, But over the period of the last few months, what's happened is we created the total reverse. So there's been great hype. People have got the book now and actually we've sold probably about 40 already, We're probably in about six weeks. So what's happened now is now we need to tell people how to use the book. So that's what we're doing. So the demo's gone for trying to sell the book and tell people how to use the book because they've already bought it. So we're here tonight. We're going to showcase to about 40, 45 chefs how to use the book and how to go about it and use it better in what they already have. So hope you enjoy the evening. And uh, if you couldn't be here, sorry, we'll do another one next time. So John Paco and I worked together on a couple of uh, events previously. John has had, John is probably one of the biggest foodies that nobody's heard of. Should I say that? Sure. I mean seriously, for those sure. who know and follow his blog, you just will jaw drop uh, at where he's eating. And he's always about six months ahead of everybody else. So he'd eaten at Noma before anybody was on the radar. You know, he'd eaten down in Australia at Key before anybody was really paying attention there, and again in Spain. So he comes to this with a passion. Um, although this is not his day job. His day job is culinary director, for lack of a better term, term we'll all know, with Maple Leaf Foods. So we have liquid nitrogen here. It's at minus 196 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to put these raspberries into the liquid nitrogen. They're bubbling and boiling. So once it stops boiling, then it's completely frozen and we can shatter it. I'm going to need some more liquid nitrogen for the next lot. You will be trying this a little bit later. We're going to put it in the freezer to warm up so you can have it later. The natural form of what a raspberry is, all these little cells all form together. So what we're going to make here is a, is a dressing for a salad. So I have olive oil, garlic, salt pepper, um, white balsamic vinegar, and then um, I have some water, which is this water. It's tomato water. This is, these are tomatoes. This is the liquid that comes out. Very delicious. Dispensing the dressing into the liquid nitrogen. It's homogenized with the oil and the, and the vinegar. And the tomato water. So once this is made, it looks like popcorn. Break it up until it looks like popcorn. Take it out. Put it on a plate. Put it in the freezer and let it warm up. So apart from smoking a, a bag, you can smoke a plate. So you actually come to the table with the plate, all dressed up and then release the smoke and from the time it goes from the kitchen into the dining room and you eat it within three four minutes that salad is a little smoky believe it or not it doesn't take long to actually impregnate like lettuce with smoke which is really neat pickling any kind of vegetable will take your time but with a vacuum sealer I've made my pickle, my favorite pickle, of um, sugar, white wine vinegar, and dill. And mix it in with the cucumbers. And now I'm going to pull a vacuum on it. So all the pores of the food are now opening up. The marinade is going into the pores. And then it's going to suck a very hard vacuum. And it's going to, it's going to instantly pickle these vegetables. So if you're in a restaurant and you wanted to do a different kind of a vegetable pickle every day, this is what you could be doing instead of like, oh, I didn't pickle last night, I can't have it ready. You could do that the morning of and have your pickle ready to go for service. So you can see they look pickled and we're going to put these in a, a bowl for you to try later. take a break as well and get it going again okay. 
These two I will put in cold water, so now I can extract the spaghetti. By applying some pressure. If you go too fast, don't try this at home. Make sure you go into water, because if it splashes, that's fine. If you don't put it into water, I'll do it again. Um, if it doesn't go into water, the end will go like this, and it'll end up on your ceiling, and your stairs, and your wall, and believe me, it's happened. When you get this dish, the first thing to try is the carbonated grapes. They're the ones that lose their carbonation the quickest. If you miss this, a little thing, this is a smoker. Put the little chips in, it's fantastic. No, it's not a bomb, so don't get excited when chefs like this, but it's really cool. So we've done it. What do you think? That, that was, was a really, lot of fun. It was. I'm tired. I, love them, but but I think people fun. enjoyed it. Well, I've already had people say to me, so how many books do you still have at the store? How many sets are still there? So they want to take it to the next level, which thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. It was so much fun. I had great help. Thank you very much. It was a great association. And do you get commission on those, those pieces of equipment? I mean, I it I, makes the book look inexpensive. I wish I could. I mean, it's, wish it's I should. Maybe I should look at that. Thank you so much, John. It was great. Okay. All right. Excellent. So here we are. Had a great night. Yes, we've done it uh, what? Ovals, two and a half hours later. The watermelon jerky. You can see everybody's just focused on trying all the different stuff. Fantastic night. And I think we'll sell a few more of the modernist cuisine. Thank you. Thanks, Camilla, for letting us be here.